and mouth disease. The livestock disease that is threatening to wipe out arguably Uganda's most popular domesticated animal, the cow, yet again. With the animal's tanks deformed and the hooves rotting, it is terrifying and is devastating for farmers. Up to four cows have been buried on this farm in the last one week. And right here where I'm standing is a cow that was buried last evening. And I was also expecting a calf. The value is at around 3.5 million shillings. It is a very hard time for the farmers in this area. It is a multifaceted issue. The quarantine measures and restrictions on cattle movement has left milk vendors and farmers unions in a state of confusion and bewilderment. It is worsening. Farmers are crying. Farmers are stuck with school fees. Uh, those uh, who have young children have nothing to give their what? Their children. So the situation is affecting everybody. Close to 40 districts, especially in the Kato Corridor, by press time, are affected and we are still counting. Solutions Now Africa, alongside the MCISDG's media fan, visits Shema district in the west of Uganda to get to the bottom of this challenge and try to obviously look for what is working or what can be done to salvage this situation. Last week in this town of Kabohe, farmers mounted a protest and the point was they felt there has been a segregative application of quarantine rules. It is important to note that the neighboring Barara city and the Bushan district are fully operational and cattle products are moving. It is our hope that we are able to bring these farmers in this town and the Shema district in general to discuss issues with their leaders so that they can have a lasting solution in regards to this foot and mouth disease scourge. This is 44-year-old Baini Anthony Mabati, a livestock farmer in Rushorosa, Chiziba Ward, Shema Municipality, Western Uganda. We find him in the middle of a burial exercise of yet another cow, the fourth in just the last week. The rest of Mabati's cows are all showing symptoms of foot and mouth disease, and he's so worried he will lose the entire farm. A legacy his family prides in. When I was in the country, I was in the government, I was in the government. So I think
The cause of these four animals that have died, one, first of all, the farm is overstocked. The animals in this farm, they are not worth it. They are more than the stock capacity for this farm. This has completely wiped up the pastures, and so these animals don't have enough pastures. So the disease came in at a time when the animals were not looking good on the bodies, so they are the, 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 their body scores are too poor. They don't have energy, they didn't have energy. And at the same time, live around being at, at the poor conditions, even the pastures on the ground there, it is not there. So that's why I was saying that these animals, once they get infected with the foot and mouth disease, they develop lesions, later wounds, and wounds deepen and deepen them more if they are not well managed. And after being developing all those wounds, so the animal feels a lot of pain. They can, the animal cannot even get on ground to pick the scanty pastures on ground of one inch, just here on ground as you can see. Surely if you, the animal just gets, they, they get their tongue as in rolling the pastures to scoop and then they eat. They scoop the pastures and they eat. But this is a time where we don't have that pasture really to have it rolled on the tongue and then they get it. So they have just keep on doing like this, as in getting the scanty. And with those wounds on the pads and at the tongue, sure they cannot get this mild feeds. So the animal finally will end up getting starved with the minimal and negative energy they had in their body and they end up dying. Mabati will now have an opportunity to face his leader and have a conversation inside the van. In his company is another pastoralist, a senior citizen who probably knows more about livestock production and its legacy and the rich history in this Ankole region. So, we have a lot of people who are living in the world. So, we have a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of people who are living in doctor <laughs> Kukata wundu wa rizentezi, taro nente ni mwini kubasa mguzo. Tijine ni juu si handu huku yese ntezo kubasa mgure mbazi yoko la guruza eze zita kafi. Zite dhate nte nzufa, kuto mguza nyama, nito jizika. Ezi ndi zuruire, nze tende mbazi. Tijine ni juu ntasia. Hati ni nyeguza, ni juu gumani zreve samisho, nzufa nzu wawo. Ateji ni wawo hiro gorto ucheru ine kushashura. Famu. Itura ni rurevelela kwa mkwana viru mmasha. Ukafune sente zori homo vitoche kandu zika ragurente. Zika guru mba zuguru kozi ya na nguwano kushashura wa kozi. Oho tutejeri zembi ya hila agaruzi. Tino kumuwa kubasa kukayo. Mkatusa viru saa. Aba antu waka komo uru wa waka antu. Echa akabiri. Tumba gambira ngumwena ababa kwa asirwe abutu wa shanga wine uzubu. Baka yereta basha ho. Baka raguri hange echuweke chona kuhunka hakaba openi. Ito watu wa yoicheru mkweza hama tumba gabantu. Akuba wajira ngu hatu wagari ka uigura. Nchima nisa ngu tu uigurira mtungu kuyo uigururoburu wile kujanja. 
okukoma nanga shokumweto karanti itukwita karantini no kugira ngo oburwiye bugumahi buri butakarugo aha kuba bwe tuburukwitwara yine kikuba nico gutwara niwe ne myenda yawe no butsi zawe zo jwire ne jonkito ne jo motoka ico kitiyo cha famu igari amatena nebindi kumuruko biha famu mwaba urukutambura urukuzo mu famu urukuzo mu ndijo kuzo mu ndijo n'umukwiha umukujanja zo burwiro we bari munonga doctor ubwire tune buce munonga ni mayibuzo byabikire binji bitu kontagarukira wawe ni nimbuza abo kwenda kushora ati yanjugano ni bakora bata Shema district's first case was reported on 22nd January less than a month before press time the team at the district wrote to the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Husbandry and Fisheries, requesting for a total of 20,000 doses, but we only afforded 5,000. More than 1,000 cases have been registered in the district. A tally that is updated by a network of veterinary officers in a WhatsApp group. Our next stop is at a farmer's dairy cooperative union. We seek to understand how deep this disease has affected the flow of activity and the economic situation of several other stakeholders in the livestock production value chain. Let the concern the, uh, at least the, the, the districts, DVOs and the people who work at the subcounty levels, especially in animal production and the, the rest, identify the, far, the, the farms which are which are affected most, which are affected, uh, just which are affected, they close them. Then they allow their farmers, other farmers who are not affected by the disease to deliver milk. Uh, the only challenge we have is uh, there is no more efforts by the government. People uh, are affected by diseases. But then you see, when you see, when you say, let this one stop and this one delivers. Then it makes confusion, as you have said. As as delivering, as the farmers are what? Are not. Now you find that the situation that if you say, let this one stop and this one work, if they close Mbalala, Bushenya and, uh, and Shema are closed, it can sound better. But we are, we are in the middle, we are in the center. Bushenya is working, Shema is not working. Much as there are vaccinations, but the government does not like cover the entire nation. So like you cannot reach herd immunity uh, to ensure that this, this virus has been contained. Like the doses they usually uh, they procure are not enough like to cover the entire country. So even when there's an outbreak of a disease and they, they, they procure vaccines, they just target a few sub counties, but like don't do a blanket kind of vaccination. So I think in that sense, the virus is still kept around because we are not able like, to vaccinate everywhere.